Hey, what's going on, guys? IO Studios here from the Cinema 4D tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a metal material for um, Cinema 4D Octane. If you are here, you probably know what you're doing with Cinema 4D. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's get started. So, um, I've just got a statue here, and we're going to make a uh, metal material for it. So, create um, shader, Cinema 4D Octane, Octane material, and we'll apply it to a uh, the material will apply to the statue material, or I mean the statue model, sorry. Uh, we're going to open it up and set the material type to glossy, and we're going to open up the node editor. Okay, so um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a diffuse. We're going to grab a RGB spectrum and we're going to drop it into the diffuse. <clears throat> I'll just put that right there. And we're going to just open it up here, or open up the color picker, and we're just going to set it to 7% here because we don't want a lot of um, diffuse, because realistically metals don't have really any diffuse, but we're going to have a bit just because um, it's nice to have a bit. Okay, anyway. Um, next, we're going to make the specular. Um, actually, first, first, uh, go to your index, click on the octane material, go to your index, and we're going to set the index to about seven. <clears throat> um, seven or eight works. Uh, it's kind of a, an aluminum feeling material, so we'll do like seven. Um, but yeah, don't forget to set your index up. Okay. Um, the next thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to add in um, two things. We're going to add in a gradient, which we'll put onto our specular. And the gradient, we're going to set the mode to complex. Uh, we're going to delete this one. Click on it, delete it. Click on this other one over here, delete it. And, um, okay, that's that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a, um, we're going to grab a couple things. We're going to grab a, first of all, RGB spectrum. <clears throat> we're going to connect it to the start, and actually we're going to grab another RGB spectrum, uh, another RGB spectrum, I mean, <clears throat> we're going to connect that to, blah, can't talk, we're going to connect them to the start and the end points of the gradient, and then for the input, I'm going to want to go ahead and grab a fall off, uh, fall off, there it is, <clears throat> grab a fall off and put it on there, and there we go, let's go ahead and put this over here, I'm um, just like that, okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our actual roughness, and um, <clears throat> we're going to do this by grabbing a gradient, dropping that into our roughness here. Click on the gradient, um, and we're going to go click on the first knot here, go to the click the little arrow here, and we're going to set the position to about, um, oh, Java update, great. Um, CC cleaner alert, great, lots of pop-ups. Okay, um, we're going to set our position to about 25%, should be good. Uh, for the roughness there, and we're gonna grab an um, we're gonna have an image texture. I mean RGB spectrum. No, we're gonna grab an image texture. I changed my mind. Um, and if you use an image texture here, then you can for for you guys you can use um, let me grab projection and transform here. Connect them here. But therefore, if we use a if we use an image texture here, you guys can use a roughness map if you want to for your metal. So yeah, just setting you up for that. And um, that is pretty much it. That's pretty much the material. Um, and yeah, you can see here we go back to the preview, and it looks it looks pretty good. It looks like pretty good metal. Um, yeah, that's that. Anyway, um, so yeah, if you're curious, I'm using an HDR to light the scene, and um, yeah, that's that's how I'm getting this nice lighting. So yeah. Anyway, uh, you can see I've got a bunch of octane lights here, but they're all um, they're all made invisible. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that was a pretty quick uh, tutorial, so thank you for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Bye!